take a part in this service. I pray you bless them now. I pray that the anointing will flow in this place. I pray we won't leave out of here the same. I pray we'll be strengthened even the more. In Jesus' name. Come on. You believe that prayer. You ought to really start clapping your hands. You ought to really start blessing his hands. Come on. Come on, let's praise the Lord in this place. Let's begin to Hallelujah. worship the Lord in this place. Thank you for glory Thank and you, honor for all that he has done for us. Let's call his name, sweet Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you for yes, being God. our sweet yes, Savior. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, oh God, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah, we Thank bless you. you. We bless you, Father. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh come on. Y'all ought to put those hands together and start blessing the name of the Lord. Anybody glad to be in this place one more time? Okay, I can't hear nobody. Oh, come on. Y'all ought to bless his name. Come on, lift up the name of Jesus. Are you grateful for another week? Are you grateful to be in the house of the Lord? Are you grateful to be in your right mind? Activity of your limbs. Oh, come on, bless him. Oh, come on, bless him. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Yes, Have your way, Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify you. We appreciate you. We adore you, Jesus. Oh, Baba Boho. Hey, Yada Boho. Yada Rosaya. Rosha Yada Diose. Oh, bless his name. We need a miracle. We need you to move. Woo! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Woo! We would surrender, God. We give it all over to you. Have your way. Have your way, God. Woo! We worship you. We magnify you. We magnify you. Our call to worship. Psalms 138 says, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answered me, God your boho, and strengthened me with strength in my soul. Amen. Bless his name, just praise his wonderful sweet name. Yes, we praise your name, oh God. We bless your name, oh God. I love to praise your name. I love to lift you. We bless your name, sweet Jesus. I love to praise your name. I love to lift you.
Our Old Testament scripture be coming from Psalms 126. And it reads, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. Then were our mouths filled with laughter and our tongue with singing and said them among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the stream in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Amen. Testament scripture this morning will be coming from Matthew the 16th chapter and we'll begin our reading at the 13th verse when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi he asked his disciples saying who do men say that I the son of man am and they said some say thou art John the Baptist some Elijah and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets he said unto them but whom say ye that I am and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you unto thee the kings the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven then charged he his disciples and they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ amen Oh! 
my God, my God. What a holy name. What a righteous name. Jesus. Mm. Oh, God, I thank you. assignment this morning oh God I'm here to pray this morning if there's anybody that's in the vestibule come on in oh God let all the hearts and minds oh, focus on the kingdom of heaven this morning oh gracious and eternal father thank you for meeting us here this morning thank you for your glory in this place on today Thank you, Holy Ghost, for breathing in here this morning. Whatever the issue was, we thank you for answering even now. We thank you for answering now. Oh, God, somebody came in with a 911 this morning, and I thank you for your healing. I thank you for your deliverance. I thank you for being in this place like only you can. Touch our leaders, God. Bring forth a rhema word. God, that we will be saved, sanctified, and delivered. That we will walk upright and be a righteous and holy people that you have called. Not those that are watching by social media. Oh God, I pray that you will save somebody on today. Oh God, I bind up the hand of the enemy that might try to trick their minds. Oh God, anything that will try to come against this worship on today. Oh God, I pray that you will send angels that would encamp round about us Hedge us in like only you can. Strengthen us like only you can, God. Let the blood run from heart to heart, from breast to breast, God. And God, we will give you glory. We will. We will give you glory. We will honor you in the wonderful great name of Jesus Christ. And the people of God says amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God, glory to God. Let's get ready for our congregational morning hymn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Draw me nearer. Oh, 
for our congregational hymn this morning. Amen, amen. I come this morning with our responsive reading, which will be coming from the book of Romans. Amen, we all know the format. I say, then you say, then we bring it all together. Amen, amen. Here's our responsive reading. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is him? Christ Jesus is the one who died more than death, who has raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is intercessed for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword. Now, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord wonderful praise on today. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Come on, why just stand and lift your hands up all over the house? Give God wonderful praise. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in. How many of you glad to be here this morning? Come on. Come on, lift his name up and tell the Lord thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Do me a favor, turn to that person next to you and say, glad to be in the service. One more time. Didn't have to let me live, but I live to be in the service. One more time. And the old church is to say, one more time. One more time. I'm so glad to be in the service. Amen. If you don't get another time to be in service, tell the Lord today I'm going to magnify you. I'm going to give you everything that I got on the inside. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus as you're taking your seat. We're so grateful to have you here at the core church, affectionately known as Cathedral of Refuge. We are the core church. Everybody say the core church. And we thank God for those who are in our sanctuary and those who are joining us online. We're grateful that the Lord has allowed you to stop by and just to be with us a little while. And while you're here, we pray that you have a wonderful time and that you get everything that you need. Amen. God is doing a new thing. Amen. And tell your name, I'm, I'm a part of the new thing. He's refreshing. Won't he refresh you? and renew you. Well, how many of you know he went? Y'all ought to jump up like you know. Woo! Ah! Hallelujah. The responsive reader said, what shall separate us? Oh, tell your neighbor, some stuff has tried, but God said, not so. I'm still connected with the Lord. And we're grateful to them. Ah, God. Ah. Look at somebody say it gets better and better and better. Oh, my God. But I'm so grateful. We're so grateful to have you with us on this morning. Allow me, allow me. Oh, there it is. There. All right, well, you know what? We don't let nobody pray by themselves. Come on, somebody put your hands. Whoa! Come on. Ah. Lord, help her. We give you glory. We 
Walker, we give you glory. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm not just thankful, but I'm grateful. Woo. He didn't have to let me live, but he did. And I'm thanking you. Woo, God. I'm, I'm moving so we can get to our announcement. But look over at your neighbor and say, it's good to see you. It's good to be seen and not you. Woo, God. Spared our lives. Got our golden moment rolling on. Sickness tried to take us out, but I'm still here. Oh my God. Oh. My, 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 my. Lord have mercy. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Praise him. Praise him, my friend. trouble. That means you thought about it. How you were going to do it. When you were going to do it. Where you were going to do it. And my premeditation said, once I hit the campus, oh God, once I get with the saints, I've already determined I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes, sir. We meditate. I thought about it. how he brought me out there, how he healed my body, how he's moving in my life. I thought about it. Oh, God. Let me move. The, the old church, they didn't use terms like premeditated. They would say something, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, I thank God for saving me, I thank God, how many thank God to deliver I don't do the stuff I do. I don't do what I used to do. Don't go to the, I don't go to the places I used to. But he does a change. Tell somebody there's a change. A great change that has taken place in me. We're grateful. And again, we thank you. Let me do this. Y'all sit down, y'all. Y'all pushing me. Hallelujah. I, 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 feel, I feel something pushing me. Tell your neighbor, the Lord is pushing you. I, I don't know about y'all, but I feel the wind stirring. I feel the shifting taking place. Oh! Hey! I feel, I feel it. Look at your neighbor and say, I feel it. I feel the Holy Ghost. A 
Holy Ghost shifting. If you are alive, there's a shift. How about double coast? He's not by shot. I feel like Elder McLean. How about a coast here? Who's coming? I'm moving. But go to somebody you didn't come with and tell us God's turning it around for your good. He's shifting it. And what the enemy meant for evil, God has turned it. God of might. I feel it turning it. Tell your neighbor, he's turned it. Turn it around. Turn. God has turned it. For my, for my good, for, for my good, for my good, hey, they thought you weren't going to make it, they thought you weren't going to be here, they thought what you went through was going to kill you, but tell somebody it made me better. Give me a little bit on this mic. I want to holler so loud. Look at the neighbor and say, it made me better. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he turned. He turned it. Look at Sam like a preacher say, and he turned it. He turned my situation around, around. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. Woo! 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 Ha! Ah. God turned it. Oh. Ah. Thank God. Lift your hand. I, I feel a favor confession. Woo, God. Tell somebody I feel the favor of God. All of me. Tell your neighbor, say, never again will I be without the favor of God. It rests richly upon me. It profusely abounds within me. And I am a part of the generation that's experienced. Look, let's just stop right there. Say, never again will I be without the favor of God. It rests richly upon me. It profusely abounds in me. And I'm a part of the generation that's experiencing God's favor immeasurably, limitlessly, and surpassingly. Go to this. Therefore, favor produces supernatural increase, promotion, restoration, honor, increased assets, greater victory, recognition, prominence, preferential treatment, petitions granted, prayers answered, policies and rules changed, battles won in which I do not have to. Y'all better go ahead. It's all on you. Tell somebody it's all on you. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Thank you, kind Father. Thank you, kind Father. It's on me. It's on me. Tell somebody the blessing is on you. The blessing is on you. The blessing is on you. I see it. I see it. Y'all yeah. sit down. Woo! It's all on me. Tell you, I feel it in my feet. I feel it in my hand. I feel it all. Let me move on so we can get through this. But tell you, I got a Jeremiah anointing. It's like fire. Fire. Shut up. In my bones. Y'all better go ahead and praise him. So y'all need to go ahead and get it out. 
so we can move on. Give God what's due to us. Give God what he belongs. Give God the gospel. Oh, yeah. Spirit of the Lord is. There's liberty. Tell your neighbor, you're free to praise him here. God Almighty. We bless his wonderful name. Y'all, y'all sit down. Come on and tell God thank you. I bless him for the freedom to praise him. Hallelujah. Help me. Help me. Recite this to you, I got a right. I have a reason and I have a responsibility to praise God. The right came from Calvary, he died on the cross. The reason came because he allowed me to change myself through him. And the responsibility comes out of the book of Acts when Paul said, and at midnight, at midnight, I tell you, if midnight situations come, but if you read a little further down in the text, it says that at midnight they begin to praise and sing praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. Folk that were locked up heard them praising God. Tell your neighbor, that's your responsibility. That whatever you're going through, open your mouth so somebody can hear and they can say, if God bring her out, if God can bring him out, then baby, I need to open. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Woo! Hallelujah. We're grateful today. Allow me to thank our first time guests, our worshipers. If this is your first time, just lift your hands. Come on, y'all celebrate our sister. God bless you. We're so grateful to have you with us. Amen. We thank God for any first time 
worshipers or visitors online with us. And please do us a favor. If you have a church home, tell them thank you for allowing you to worship with us on today. And send back our warmest regards for all that they're doing in your life. If you don't have a church home, this is a wonderful place. Amen. And we give God glory for it. Amen. Clap your hands for our dear sister one more time. We like to say here at Refuge, the first time we'll allow you to be a visitor, but about this time we count your family because we already saw you praising it. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we praise them together. Amen. We're grateful. Amen. Very quickly, we're going to do our announcements. Can you turn your attention to the screen and let's receive our announcements at this time? Good morning, Core Church, and welcome to our Sunday morning celebration. We are so glad to have you join us in person as well as via our social media platforms. As scripture reminds us, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And while we're doing that, let's check out what's happening in the month of March. As a reminder of our weekly worship opportunities offered, Monday Morning Manor is every Monday morning at 6 o'clock a.m. via Zoom. That is 52 weeks we are starting our Mondays in prayer. Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. Pastoral and Youth Bible Study via Zoom. Sundays at 9.30 a.m. is Corporate Prayer. And at 10 o'clock a.m. our Sunday Morning Celebration. And last but certainly not least, Refuge Food Pantry, which is every second and fourth Saturday of the month from 10 o'clock a.m. to 12 noon. Volunteers are always needed. There's a lot taking place in the month of March, so I would admonish you to take out your phones, tablets, iPads, and make note of the exciting things that's taking place. The Apostle Church of Christ in God, also known as ACCG Spring Gathering, is here. March 21st and 22nd at New Life for Souls in Capitol Heights, Maryland. Teaching and preaching on each night begins at 6.30 p.m. Friday, March 22nd, hey sis, let's talk. Listen out for more details regarding this event. Saturday, March 23rd, Refuge Food Pantry is from 10 o'clock a.m. to 12 noon. Come out and support as we give back to our community. Also, Saturday, March 23rd at 11 o'clock a.m. is RYC rehearsal. Yes, let's prepare ourselves for the RYC takeover again. And I'm looking forward to it. After last Sunday in our Black History Month program, I can't wait to see what our youth and young adults are going to do. Sunday, March 24th is Palm Sunday. Also, it is the start of Holy Week, which commemorates Jesus' last days and crucifixion. Friday, March 29th is Good Friday, and Saturday, March 30th, we have events lined up for our youth. So please listen out for more details. Sunday, March 31st is Resurrection Sunday, which signifies the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and also the cornerstone of the Christian faith, signifying the fulfillment of God's plan for redemption and offering believers the promise of eternal life. Again, Sunday 31st, Christ lives. Before I go, please adhere and make note of the following. Bible study block dates are April 3rd and April 10th. Therefore, we will not be having Bible study. Bible study will resume April 17th. Winston-Salem Forsyth County School Spring Break is March 29th through April 8th. School will resume for students on April 9th. announcements in mind and govern yourselves mm -hmm. accordingly. Uh, you've got what's going on, so please meet us here this Saturday uh, for our food pantry, those of you who are sharing that. If you've never had the opportunity to, to work in the food pantry or to serve, it's more than work. Amen. Amen. And, and uh, so therefore, come out and let's serve our community. 
Amen. That's what God, that's what the Lord has called us to do, to serve this present age. And that's a wonderful time to do it. And before that, we have 8 o'clock prayer. So come on out to our 8 o'clock prayer on the second and fourth Saturdays. And so you can enjoy that with us. We do want to say happy birthday to all the March babies. I, I'm a little bewildered because the March baby's not on there. <laughs> We thank God. There we go. Here we are. Oh, and you see, people are partial to April. Man. You, you, got to, you have to wait till March is over. <laughs> but we say happy, happy birthday and happy anniversary to those who are uh, celebrating birthdays and anniversary. Elder, uh, uh, Elder, Elder Norwood and uh, Brother Jamie, uh, Jermaine and Sister Allgood are celebrating anniversaries and all of those who celebrated birthday. I want to thank you for last week celebrating with me and sharing with me on one of the best days of the year, um, March 7th. Yeah, one of the best days of the year. Amen. And I thank you for all of your acts of kindness. How many of you enjoyed our salad bar last week? Tell you, if you can eat healthy, and have a, a, a special service. But I know about six o'clock, all of y'all are like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Amen. So we do thank God for you. Tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., everybody put that in your notes. 6 a.m. will be uh, on our Monday morning manor as we are every Monday, 52 uh, weeks of the year. No matter what's going on, if it's a holiday, if it's your birthday, we are on Monday morning manor to start our week off with prayer. Uh, if you need that code, you can get it. Amen. It's our Zoom code, and we have uh, those print. If you have needs, please let someone know, and then we can address them by putting them on the prayer list. Amen. And we're so grateful for what the Lord has done for that and through that. Amen. People have been healed. Amen. Cancer has dried up. Hallelujah. Folk who had surgery up and about now. <laughs> So we're grateful, amen, and we know if the Lord can do it for one, he can do it for all, amen. We're so grateful for it. Very quickly, amen, uh, we're going to be a blessing in worshiping the Lord in our giving. Let's look at his name and say, let's worship the Lord through giving. And we believe here at Refuge that giving is a part of worship. And you haven't really worshiped until you have given. Not just your praise, but your sustenance, Amen. Amen. What the Lord has blessed you with. Amen. Tell your neighbor, increase is coming to your house. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do in increase. And we're thankful for it. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm seeing increase in my household. Oh, God, help me. And we're so grateful. Hallelujah. We're thankful. For it. So come on, everyone stand on your feet. And I, I do want to thank those. Let me say this real quickly before we do our offering. Thank you for who came out for Bible study on Wednesday. We had a wonderful time. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, we got to come back to church. And so on this Wednesday, we're going to, go, we're going to continue that, amen, in the, in the holy uh, month, amen. So meet us here at 630. And uh, we, we're going to get you out in good time. Amen. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting ministry. Thank you for giving. We have several ways that you can give. You can give in person if you're here today. That's fine and wonderful. Or you can give on our cash app medium. And that's uh, dollar sign refuge 1997. Amen. You can go to our Givelify uh, page and you can give on that as well. You will see co-pastor in my picture there and just direct your giving in that vein. If you're not in the city and you want to do something special, or if you're in the city, you can reach us at P.O. Box 133, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and the zip code is 27102. Again, that's P.O. Box 133, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, in the beautiful city, uh, Winston-Salem, 27102. And we thank you for you. I thank God for all the tithers. Lift your hands up and say, I'm a tither. I give, I don't just give sometimes. Because he don't just give me some time. Are y'all with me? Every time I wake up, he's giving me. Uh, uh, oh, God, hallelujah. And I want to give back to him. Our real reason for giving is not so people can see us giving, but, but I want to be like God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, God so loved the world that he gave. 
He gave his only begotten son. The son loved us so much that he what? He gave his life on the cross. Didn't stop there. He rose on the third day, go sits at the right hand of the Father and said, let's give them the gift of the Holy Ghost. So God is a constant and consistent giver and we thank him for it. So lift those uh, gifts up and just celebrate God. Whatever you have in there, God gave it to you. Whatever you're giving today, tell your neighbor, God bless me with it. And tell your neighbor, there's plenty more for me in store in God. Bow your heads with me. Father, we're grateful today. Thank you for gift and giver, seed and sower, the tithe and the tither. But God, we're excited about how we're giving. Your word declares, blessed is the cheerful giver. And Father, we just thank you right now because every home that's represented in this congregation online that you're going to visit with increase. And we decree increases overtaking our lives because we understand that when we give, it shall come back to us, good measure, praise down, shake it together, shall men give unto our bosom. But you didn't stop there, Father. You said, God, that you would call men and then you rebuke the devourer. Somebody say the devourer is rebuked for my sake, for my family's sake, in the name of Jesus. All nations call us blessed. We are a delightsome land, all because we're bringing back the tithe and the offering that you told us to give in Malachi. And we thank you for a greater covenant, a greater priest, and greater promises. We do give your wonderful name praise. In Jesus' great name, we count it done. Lift your voice up and say, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Direct your attention to the ushers. They'll lead you out. Come cheerfully. Come cheerfully. for your heart. Let me remind you that the seed that leaves your hand never leaves your life. It just goes into your future to produce a harvest. So tell your seed, bye-bye seed. Hello harvest. I'm really excited about harvest. <laughs> I was talking with a brother the other day, and he was just on yesterday, and he was saying, Pastor, my truck messed up, and I had to get home to get my other truck. The oil, I stopped to put some oil in it, but it was just pouring out. And he said, I started praying. And he said, the Lord let him make it home to his other truck. Look at this, tell you, that's plenty. But what the Lord is, it, it said to me, he said, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, amen? What, what is that? The devourer come to eat up what God has already blessed you with. Woo, God. Look at your neighbor and say, not today, devil. Uh, not tomorrow, not next week. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. So we're grateful again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your liberality and your giving, even online. Thank you for giving. Amen. Again, meet us here Wednesday at 6.30 for our, our Bible study. Uh, we're going to have a wonderful time. We're doing a wonderful teaching. Amen. Tell your name of the high priest. So we have a new high priest. And that new high priest, amen, he bought better promises, a greater high priest, 
and a greater covenant. Hallelujah for all of us. And we do thank God for you. Amen. It's time for preaching. Look at your neighbor and say, it's time for preaching. I'm excited because I'm always excited about this preacher. Uh, Co-pastor Rita. Come on, clap your hands. Not just because she's my wife and the woman the Lord has blessed me with for so many years and has been a significant blessing to my life. If we were to be honor, honest, uh, I got the better end of the deal. <laughs> she has to put up with me. Uh, but I'm, I'm grateful for the anointing. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Amen. That anointing that is on her life uh, causes her to preach the word of God, to minister in such a way that lives are changed, yokes are destroyed. Hallelujah. And I want you to keep your eye out, amen, as her itinerary is picking up. Amen. And God is doing some greater things in her life, in her life. Amen. Uh, she asked me, are you preaching today? I said, no, this is your day. It's like, it's like when you get a, a time off from work. You don't go back until it's time. And so, <laughs> so next Sunday is not time. Elder McLam. It's the following Sunday. God bless you. Give God praise for our sister. Amen. Thank you for healing her body. Amen. And we're grateful. Yes, sir. Hey. Lift your hands up and say, thank God for healing. Woo, God. Woo. Look at somebody say, won't he do it? Won't he heal your body? Woo. Woo. Won't he heal you? Won't he, won't he, won't he, won't he, won't he, won't he, won't he make a way? Won't he open the door? Won't he do it? Woo! Yes, sir! continue to praise him. Huh? Because he is good. He is good like that. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Hallelujah. Won't he do it?
Hallelujah. We're so thankful to be in the place on today. Hallelujah. We are honored. Uh, try not to be unorthodox. I feel, I feel like running. I feel like shouting. I feel like jumping up and down. I, I want to say thank God for my husband on today, the visionary of this house. Come on, give God praise for him. Uh, I'm full. I'm real full. Hallelujah to all of thy elders and our deacons and ministers, to the mothers. God bless you. Oh, God, thank you. I'm real full. I'm real full. Hallelujah. I thank God for my friend that has reunited us back together. We were in high school pretty much every day together. Yeah, every day. And um, we reunited uh, last few weeks ago, and it just feels good. I feel like we lost no time. And we thank God for Michelle Cole for being here. She came all the way from Charlotte. That was my BFF, y'all. She got some of my secrets. My mom, don't try to talk to her and find out my secrets because she's not going to tell you. No, no, no. Listen, listen, come on, let's get our Bibles and let's work for a minute. I am just so excited and I anticipate God's move. He's already, I just feel it just moving up and down the aisles and in and through the the seats and oh my god a shift definitely took place on this morning if you would go with me to saint mark the 14th chapter hallelujah hallelujah saint mark the 14th chapter if you have a say amen we'll begin our reading at the third verse hallelujah and i'll be reading from the nlt translation hallelujah you have it say amen the reading of the word of God for the people of God meanwhile Jesus was in Bethany at the home of Simon a man who had previously had leprosy while he was eating a woman came in and with a beautiful alabaster jar of expensive perfume made from essence of nard. Essence of nard. That sounds like a perfume, doesn't it? She broke open the jar and poured the perfume over his head. Some of those at the table were indignant. Why waste such expensive perfume, they asked. It could have been sold for a year's wages and the money given to the poor. So they scolded her harshly. But Jesus replied, leave her alone. Why criticize her for doing such a great thing for me? You will always have the poor among you and you can help them whenever you want to, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could and has anointed my body for burial ahead of time I tell you the truth wherever the good news is preached throughout the world this woman's deed will be remembered and discussed hallelujah 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 if we can pray kind father we bless you and we glorify you for this time Oh, God, we thank you so much for being so good to us and kind to us and gracious. Oh, God, we thank you for your mercy on this morning. 
God, we thank you for our here being, our place, God, how you have positioned us in this place. God, we thank you for our health. We thank you for our life. We thank you, God, for our mind and the activities of our limbs. God, we thank you for the blood running warm through our... God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for just being so good to us. Oh, God, and we ask now, God, that that you use this 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 person god this clay god that you have designed god allow your presence to be present and god allow Rita to decrease god oh god we want you to be glorified on today we want you to be magnified on today hallelujah and we say thank you and we glorify you it's in your son jesus name that we pray don't sit down quite yet i need you to help me with this message um if i could use as a topic look at your neighbor and say it's never too much it's never too much and if i can use for a subtopic leave her alone leave her alone too much. Look at your neighbor and say, it's never too much. Never too much. You may have your seats as we work just a minute. Hallelujah. My mind goes back, my mind goes back to uh, when I was a little girl and I would come home from school and my grandmother lived with us and and, and she would have the eggs out and she would have the butter sitting out. And, and as I walked through the door, I saw the setup being prepared. And I said, Grandma, are we getting ready to make a cake? And she said, oh yeah, we're getting ready to make a cake. And I would hurry and put my stuff up and put, get to the table, put my knees in the table so, in the chair so I could see above because I wanted to witness everything that took place. And as she added each ingredient, and then she began to mix it together, all the anticipation would just rise up. Why? Because I knew what was going to happen at the end. Oh God, she began and she would just, at that time we didn't have a mixer. My grandmother would mix it on her own. And I would watch her as she mixed it. And I used to love how that little fat part of her arm would just shake. And I'd say, this this is going to be good right here. And she would put everything into mixing all of those good ingredients for something good. And I will wait, sometimes just looking, no conversation taking place because I'm expecting, oh my God, this is going to be good. And then she would get the pan and she would pour it into the pan. And she would just scrape the bowl, scrape the bowl, and I'm just waiting. Huh? And then she'll sit it there and she said, do you want the bowl? Do I want the bowl? Yes, and she would give me a foretaste of what was being prepared. And I remember, oh my goodness, I was, I would scrape that bowl till it's clean, those spoons, you didn't even have to wash it after I finished. So good, so good. So now she has put it in the oven. What do I do? I go and I get my crayons, I go and get my coloring book, and I put it right there in front of the oven, and I just wait. Because I know what's being prepared. I, I know what's coming out. I, I know, I know. And then you can smell the aroma brewing in the air, changing the atmosphere, letting you know that something is coming, something good is about to happen. Lord, have mercy. Y'all with me in the kitchen, aren't you? Oh, my goodness. And then she'll come in and she'll say, well, let's test it and see. If it is ready, and she will put a toothpick. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. She'll put a toothpick in it, and, and she'll bring it out. And if it's clean, that means that it's cooked through and through. And I'll wait to see, is the toothpick clean? Oh, my God. Because it's getting closer. 
to what has been prepared for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Closer, closer. I dare you to tap your neighbor and say, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to what's being prepared for me. It's, it's, I can smell it. The, the, the room has changed. The aroma has changed. My position has changed. And then she said, it's time to come out. So now she takes it out and she puts it on the counter. And she said, it has to cool for a little bit before we can flip it over. Before we can flip it over and put it on a pan. Lord have mercy. Y'all with me? Y'all been there? The, 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 the excitement is beyond words. Because I'm thinking I got my vanilla ice cream over there. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. And, and, and I love how whenever you begin to cut the cake. Y'all, we're going to the scripture. But when we get ready to cut the cake and it's still got a little bit of heat to it, then you put a little bit of ice cream on it. And the ice cream began to melt down. Lord, have mercy. Y'all want some cake? Yeah. The position has been predetermined. Even before we got here this morning, the position was predetermined. When I was getting ready for worship on last night, come on here. It didn't start this morning. When I was getting ready for worship, even on yesterday on my way home back from Charlotte, while I was communing back and forth with God, while I, oh God, oh God, help me. The expectation was being raised. Huh? When you get ready to get ready for, put your clothes on. You put what out what you were going to wear. Huh? It was a predetermined position. When you got ready to you put your clothes on, your mindset was different. Yeah. Getting ready for worship. Huh? Lord, have mercy. On your ride to, to church, oh God, you got the right, right song playing. Getting your mind and your spirit ready for what, oh God, help me today. It's building up and then you walk in and you see somebody and they smile at you. And you say, yes, Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Isn't the Lord good? The Lord is mighty good. And it's all the while, it's building. Building up. It's building up. My position has been predetermined today. When I looked and I got in here and I saw the atmosphere, it was so charged. I said, okay, I hear your Holy Ghost. I hear what you're saying. He said, I, a lot of us, we didn't just show up just to be showed and showing up, but we predetermined that I will bless the Lord. <laughs> I predetermined within myself that I'm going to give them praise regardless to what the praise team sings. I'm going to give them praise regardless to who shows up. I'm going to give them praise because the Lord's been good to me. Predetermined. Predetermined. And if we look at each other, if we look at each other, all of us have a different story. We have a different history. We have a different past. We have a different present. Hallelujah. So don't, 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 don't judge my position today. If I shout five times, don't look at me crazy. Huh? If I scream hallelujah a little too loud in your ears, don't, don't snow your nose up at me. Uh, I, I, I've been through some stuff and God has brought me out of some things. Uh, I know sometimes I didn't know if I was going to be able to hold on to my mind. But God gave me clarity of thought uh, and a sound mind. So I will bless him. Work out, but look at me. Slow down, preacher.
just slow down. Predetermined position, meaning established, decided in advance. <laughs> anybody decide in advance? Did anybody decide in advance before you got here that I don't care? I don't care what's happening. I don't care who's not right, who showed up wrong. I'm going to bless him today. I'm going to bless him. Huh? I'm going to bless him. I'm predetermined, established, decided in advance. It is a state of something in regards to its appearance, appearance my position. My position is not going to change because you changed. Lord have mercy. I'm just I'm trying to set it up. I'm just trying to get you all to understand before we get to this. You got to understand the setting of, of this woman uh, that, that, that appears at this house uninvited. You got you you can't just jump in there and then think you're gonna really understand. I want you to connect to her. Huh? Because if we be all honest and we pass the mic, baby, I don't even have a right to be up here in this mic, in the up here in this pulpit with the holding a mic because of some of the stuff I've been through. Because of some of the stuff I oh God got entangled with. Oh, but thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God that gave me the victory. So don't judge me. Don't, don't, don't. Look at your neighbor and say, don't you judge me. You only know what I told you. You only know the stuff that I allowed you to know. Huh? You, you, you only know the stuff I can trust you with. But baby, some of the stuff that I, I have to take to my grave because only me and God can handle it. Don't, don't, don't. Tell them don't judge me. Don't judge me. The Bible says that Jesus was in Bethany at the home of Simon. Simon is a man that was healed from leprosy. No, okay. Okay, go over that real quick because how it started off, it said Jesus was at the house of a man that had a past of not being able to commune with the community because of stuff he had going on. So bad he had to be called unclean. He was labeled. But don't we serve an awesome God that he'll come back and follow up with you? Huh? After he's healed your body, he'll come back and follow up with you. After he's brought you out of the muck and the mire, he'll come back and follow up with you. Lord, how are you doing, daughter? Do you remember? Do you remember the day or the time? Do you remember the tears I wiped from your eyes? Do you remember how your hair was falling out? Do you remember when somebody had to pick you up? you don't you get beside yourself he'll follow up he'll follow up he'll follow up oh god i wouldn't serve a guy that didn't follow up you know sometimes we can get beside ourselves after we get the victory <laughs> But the Bible says that he was at his house. It's a big old gathering that's going on. Everybody's there. Jesus and his disciples, the followers, the Pharisees. Everybody's there. A jar of expensive perfume. 
made from essence of nar. Ain't that like the devil? Let me go ahead and acknowledge him. Ain't that like the devil? I'm up here preaching and exalting and he wants to send a distraction. Okay, okay. All right. I still have the victory. Oh! I still have the victory. I still have the victory. Oh! Victory! Hey! Lord Jesus, if somebody ain't here that needs this. All right. All right, I'm good. Now, while Jesus was eating at the table with the disciples, a woman comes in. Now, can I say this before I even get to the part of the woman getting there? I believe, I believe wholeheartedly that this woman had to have a conversation with herself before even showing up. Have you all had to ever conquer some stuff before even showing up? Huh? Some of y'all had to conquer some stuff before you even came to church today. Huh? Have you ever had to talk yourself and say, ah, uh, I know it's raining outside, but I'm going anyway. <laughs> I, I know, I know I didn't have the best week, but I'm going anyway. You gotta talk yourself into it. And this woman had to talk herself. She said, you know what? They don't want, even want me to be in this place. They not even, I wasn't even invited. They don't, I'm not welcome in this type of status of people at this party. But I'm going anyway. Why? Why? Why am I going? Why am I going? He said, I'm going. She said, I'm going because I need to do something. See, my thing about us, sometimes when we show up for worship, a lot of times we just show up for worship for what we can get. But if you read the scripture, this woman didn't just show up for what she, she went to give. Huh? What shall I give unto my oh God? Huh? Oh God, I, I got so much to give. I want to worship you. I want to praise you. I want to glorify you. Sometimes it takes you talking yourself in to go in so you can do what you need to do. Because guess what? Everybody's not going to understand it. Look at somebody and say, everybody's not going to understand it. Oh, come on here. Tell them so everybody's not going to understand it. Everybody's not going to be with you. Everybody's not going to push you. Everybody's not going to pat you on your back. When you're talking about go doing something for the Lord, I'm going to push through and do something for the Lord. This woman shows up. She shows up and immediately she goes and she stands behind Jesus. And the Bible says that she has this box. This jar of, it's called an alabaster jar. And, and they said she broke it, but in the study, it's more so that she broke the seal. Didn't necessarily break the jar, but she broke the seal, hallelujah, and began to pour on the head of Jesus. Hallelujah, y'all ain't hearing me. She began to anoint him. Hallelujah. She began to anoint and worship. Listen, I know that don't even sound right. Now, can I give you just a little bit of backdrop to this story? You got to understand, this woman wasn't a regular woman. This woman had a past. Some people describe these, some scholars describe this woman as a harlot. Some described her as a prostitute. Some called her the lady of the night. Some, oh, come on. My thing was, she said, I don't have nothing left to give, but I gotta give it to Jesus. So you gotta understand, Lord, I 
wish I wore a longer dress. Hallelujah, because I'm not coming down. I, 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 I see where, I see where she, 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 she says, you know what? Everything that's in this jar denotes everything I've been through. Everything in this jar denotes all the stuff I had to do just to get here. Oh, everything in this show cost me a whole bunch. It cost me my character. It cost me my self-esteem. It cost me who I am in the community. So you have to understand, it was a thing about legacy during that time. Women, what they did was they would collect stuff and put it up so they have something to live off of when they get older. <laughs> so all this year she's been just adding. And she took all of her savings and she got this oil. And she's getting ready to give it away. And while she's anointing the head, head of Jesus, everybody's looking. Firstly, can y'all can y'all imagine a conversation? Can y'all imagine a conversation? Because all of them knew her. Okay, y'all want me to make it play. All of them knew her. And they're wondering, why is it that Jesus is allowing this to take place? Y'all got to understand, the way I looked at this woman, I looked at this woman yesterday, and I said, you know what? Every, if you go through it, it's also in uh, St. Luke 7 because it's in all the synoptic gospels. And, and, and it's in one of the translations, it talks about how she poured the oil and then she wiped it with her hair. And all. Y'all, if, if you look, it's, 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 it's rather seductive. Y'all don't, y'all. I know we in church. But it was a right, and then I said, well, Lord, he said, this is all she knew. This is all she knew. You know, we watch people and they come in and they get saved and they don't dance like we dance or they may not dress like, listen, this is all they know. Hey, glory to God. Oh, we want them to fix it up and get it together. Listen, let them do it like they do it until they learn to do it another way. This is all she knew. She said, I, I want to worship him. And I don't know no other way to worship. I worship the idols. I worship the gods. I worship my body. I worship my clients. But I want to worship for real this time. Lord, I love you. I love you. Y'all know she she took everything that she had. Do y'all hear me? The Bible says it was a year's worth salary that was wrapped up in that perfume. So you got Judas and You got Judas and all of them. Judas worrying about how much it's worth and you wasting it. <laughs> I think all the disciples should have been. Because mm. I said, who 
Who's at the table? It was the disciples. And Simon, who was healed. Simon should have been up on the table. <laughs> Giving God praise. I'm just saying. He couldn't even be seen in public. And now you got a big old gathering at your house and they're eating your food. Come on, and they're eating your food. And they're eating your food. <laughs> but in Luke, in Luke, Simon was just thinking it. That's what the translation said. He was just thinking it. And Jesus heard his thoughts. We got to be careful. We can sit by people and we start judging them and saying it don't take all that. Oh, here she goes. She getting ready to shout again. Oh, she getting ready to holler again. Oh, my God. Here she go again. Oh, he getting ready to run around the church again. Are we going to get any further in this worship? Ma'am, sir, you don't know what the Lord has done. At work, I have to keep myself together. I have to keep my composure. Y'all ain't here. I'm in sitting in society at Publix and wherever. I can't just lose it and go to dancing. Oh, but in here? Yes, in here. Look at your neighbor and say, it's never too much. It's never too much. Oh, my God. Help me today. Help me today. And the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Bible says that with all the murmuring that was taking place, oh God, that Jesus looked at them and scolded them. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Oh, find your neighbor said, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Praise him like you need to praise him. Worship him like you need to worship him. Give like you need to give. Do whatever you have to do. Leave her alone. Don't criticize. Don't criticize her for doing such a thing to me. Oh God, some of us need to repent. Huh? Say, oh God, she, oh, here she goes again. That's one thing, that's one thing about refuge. And I, and I say this so wholeheartedly. I don't believe we're ever caught enough for praise. Mm -mm. Praise is always in order. Praise is always in order. Because you have no idea what I ducked. Danger seen and unseen. You, 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 you have no idea how and what it took for me just to get to worship this morning. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't underestimate anybody else. I, 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 if you hear it, you need to praise them, baby. You better praise them, huh? Uh, Lord God Almighty! And, and you feel like somebody's looking at you crazy? Grab your pocketbook, grab your Bible, and tip on to another seat because this is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. We will rejoice, we will rejoice, we will rejoice, and be glad, and be glad, and be glad, oh, and be glad, in it, leave alone. It's never too much. It's never too much. It's never too much. I grew up missionary Baptist. So for me to go back now where I came from, it'd be a little too much. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
But I, 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 I realize now, I realize now that God is so good. And he's merciful and gracious. Hallelujah. Merciful and gracious. Hallelujah. So tell your neighbors never too much. You keep on doing and add some to it. Add some to it. Add some to it. I make no apologies. I'll add some to it before I take it back. Uh. Mm. This woman began to worship and give Jesus her all. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. I can't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I got on my side. I got to trust him before I see it. I got, I got to trust him because he, I just, I, I, he told me he was going to do. It. I just got to trust him. I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. Jesus said, because of her act. It will be remembered. <laughs> it will be said. It will, wherever the good news is preached, throughout the world, this woman's deed will rem be remembered and discussed. That she took all she had from her past, her present, and her future and gave it to the Lord. Because she realized I'm nothing without you. I can't move without you. I can't breathe without you. Ah, God, I'm a whole shut up. I can't love without you. Hey, God, I'm a whole shut up. God, I'm nothing without you. Nothing. Hallelujah. I am because you are. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Come on, stand to your feet if you can. It's about trust. It's about giving your all to God. Hallelujah. Through the pain, through the healing, through the suffering, through all of that, I'm going to trust you, oh God. Mm -hmm. God, I thank you. Oh, come on, somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Maybe there's someone that said, I don't know how to trust like that. But I want to learn how to trust like that. I want to give God every pain, every tear, every, every past situation that I couldn't handle, that overtook me, that conquered me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah with everyone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We'll be ready. We're ready to pray with you. Hallelujah. We're ready to agree with you. Hallelujah. That this is a God that will not let you down. This is a God you can trust in. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know him today? Huh? Do you know him? Do you know him or do you just show up? Do you come in ready to give over everything, give your all, or do you come in with a wish list? 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're ready. We'll pray with you. You want to go a little further in God, a little deeper in God, that you can ignore the naysayers. You can ignore the distractions. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless him. Bless him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Bless your name. Amen. Come on. If there's one that doesn't know the Lord Jesus and the free pardons of your sins, hallelujah. It's never too much. Hallelujah. Never too much. If you're online today and you're witnessing this and you want to be saved, we believe in the word of God in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. They said, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Will there be one today that does not know our Savior? Do me a favor if you're in the congregation, look over at your neighbor and say, do you know Jesus? I know it may seem invasive, hallelujah. But I'd rather for you to ask him, and when you stand before God, you didn't ask him. And God said you didn't say anything to him. If you know Jesus, just lift your hands up and say thank you. If you know him in the free pardons of your sins, and you're glad about it, lift your hands up and say thank you. Can you say, thank God I'm saved? Thank God I'm saved. I, I'm saved. Woo, God. Woo. I'm saved. I'm saved. Hallelujah. And Father, we want to pray with those that they may not know you. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, just repeat after me. Father, I know I'm a sinner. And I know that you died upon the cross that I might have a right to the tree of life. And your word that says that if I confess the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, I shall be saved. Father, all the things I've done, the sins that I've committed, it's not too much, but Jesus is greater. And so we confess Jesus. And we believe that if you're praying this prayer, you receive it. Scripture goes on to say in that same text that with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made known unto salvation. If you believe you're saved, I want you to let somebody know. Give us a call. Tell your family member I'm saved. Find you a church home where you can be in the presence of God. Hallelujah. We believe God. And Father, touch that believer. Touch that person. If there's one in this room today that's in a backslidden position, that don't know you in the free partners of their sins. God, we ask that you speak to their hearts today. God, we ask that you draw them closer. Not to call them out, but to call them in. For we know that the time of Jesus is soon to come. And we're calling upon men, women, boys, and girls. Accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Father, we pray now. And we ask that you move in the lives of these, your people. We do give your wonderful name praise. In Jesus' great name, we count it done. Amen. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus today. Come on, give God praise for the word of God. Point your hand over this way and just speak some blessings and some power upon Pastor Rita. We speak healing. We speak deliverance. And what the enemy meant for evil, God turned it and made it work for our good. Restore strength. Give back virtue. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are grateful today. You may have your seat. Just a few things and we're going to get you out of here today. Amen. If you'd like to sow a seed into uh, her life, uh, you may do it in person here. Uh, there's a, a receptacle that'll be here in just a minute. You can sow into her life. But if you'd like to do it by cash app, it is uh, Rita S. Sutton. Dollar sign Rita S. Sutton. I believe it's S. Wilson, excuse me. Rita S. Wilson. And you can give to it on that medium as well. Is that correct, Rita S. Wilson? Amen. So you can give to it online or you can do it in just momentarily here. Hallelujah. But I do want to give you opportunity that if you don't have a church home,
And uh, you need a place where you can be free, where you can grow in God. We don't just want members, we want disciples. Folk who can grow in God and disciple others, amen, and bring them unto the Lord, amen. Look at your neighbor say, it's never too much. How many of y'all know that, amen? It's never too much. If you go back and look up that precious bottle of uh, alabaster box of oil, that nard, it was worth a, a year's wage. That's about 300 denalis, amen. Equ equivalent to today's, it would be $54,500 a year's salary. And tell your neighbor, it was not too much. Uh, leave her alone. I love that text. Leave her alone. Let her preach. Look at your neighbor and say, leave her alone. We're going to have a leave her alone worship. Folks saying women can't do this for God. Leave her alone. Oh, my goodness. If you like to sow a seed when we leave, you can bring it up. Amen. And uh, Elder Johnson will receive that from you. But we thank you for your liberality on today, your giving, your being in worship. Look at your neighbor and say, it was good to have your worship with me today. And well, God, we pray that at the next time that uh, the Lord allows that you come back uh, to our dear sister all the way from the Charlotte area, I understand. Amen. God bless you. We pray your traveling mercies as you head back. Amen. We'll talk with you at the worship. To our dear sister, want us so good to see you. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. We thank God. God is doing some great things in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God. Give our musicians a hand today. The good Reverend Doctor. Amen. And we thank God for you. And we thank God for everything that the Lord is doing. Amen. Uh, for those of you, we're praying for Deacon Miller. Amen. We want you to remember Deacon Miller in your prayer. Lady, his wife. Amen. Uh, he, he's, he had a fall, but he went to the hospital and nothing broke. It just bruised and a little sore. So uh, let's be in prayer for Deacon Miller. Amen. Uh, and we'll be in prayer for all of you. Uh, those who are planning on going to service, auntie, a, a, into surgery soon, auntie, amen. Uh, uh, and to all of you who have been through surgery, as I have, God is able, amen. And look at his name and say, he's healing you, amen. Amen. This is, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, we're getting ready to leave. We're getting ready to get out of here so you can get home and refresh yourself. But thank you again for coming, and we don't take it for granted. We're going to leave under this benediction prayer. Come on, everyone stand to your feet as we prepare to leave today. Amen. Tell you that we're going to leave this place, but never his presence. Amen. Never his presence. Bow your heads for a moment of prayer with me. Father, we are eternally grateful today. Thankful for what our hearts have heard, our hearts have felt, our ears have heard, and what our spirit man has experienced. We thank you for the word that has come, and you said you sent your word, and it healed them and delivered them of all manners of destruction. We thank you for the word. We thank you for the message and the messenger. Thank you for this great oracle, this great mouthpiece, this, oh God, this woman of God that has brought forth the bread of life. Uh, we pray that you restore virtue to her body. Give back to her as only you can do. Strengthen her right now. And we decree right now, hallelujah, that what she's given is never too much. And we command the enemy to back up and leave her alone. And we decree it right now. Thank you, God, for each and every person that's under the sound of my voice. And as we, God, uh, go and we prepare to leave, we ask that you give us traveling mercies and grace. Whether we're going downtown or across town or even out of town, we thank you for an angelic host that will escort us safely to our various destinations. The same anointing we're sharing in this house, we'll be able to share in our individual homes to tell them the great things that the Lord has done to us, through us, and for us. And now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before an all-wise God, be glory, dominion, and power, hence now and forevermore. If you've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, lift your voice up and say, thank God, thank God, thank God. God bless you. Go in the peace and the prosperity of the Lord Jesus Christ. We love you in Jesus' name.